Welcome to a new vlog and today it's another thermal camera review, again one based on an infrared thermal sensor, but this time uh, it's a lightning connector that's compatible with iOS devices and also this one comes in a slightly more different form factor than the one that I previously reviewed in Vlog 442. So the P2 Pro that I reviewed in Vlog 442 was USB Type-C based, uh, it was supporting Android devices and it had that macro lens uh, which you could attach magnetically and it made it perfect for PCB inspection work. For getting up close to really small components and identifying hotspots, I even showed how it was possible to visualize hotspots inside an actual IC package. Now the model we are looking at today is the T2S Plus and uh, this is the iOS version like I mentioned. And price-wise, this is about $30 more than the P2 Pro, but of course price will vary depending on uh, you know, ongoing discounts uh, or the actual shop you order it uh, from. This unit was sent to me for free by xinfrared.com for the purpose of this review. Uh, they also sell on Amazon, so I encourage you to check out the links in the description below to find out more about them. I believe they are like the first-hand suppliers for Infiray. I believe Xinfrared is a company of uh, Infiray, so it's always best to uh, get these products from the uh, first-tier uh, supplier. Now this camera is likely using exactly the same thermal sensor from uh, Infiray inside because it advertises the same resolution of 256 by 192 which is a very good thermal imaging resolution for this price range and as I mentioned in Volo 442 these sensors are not limited to just a few frames per second as the thermal sensors coming from the United States due to export restrictions but instead these offer you a very nice refresh rate of 25 hertz allowing you to capture to capture these very fluid uh, images or videos. What's different about the T2S Plus is that it also comes with this uh, adjustable 8mm lens plus this uh, very nice uh, handle and uh, mount accessory to bring everything into a compact uh, single hand usage package. So you can clamp your phone in here, then you can clamp the camera on the front side and you can adjust the focus of the camera using that um, uh, manual adjustment lens. And this is generally intended for, uh, for inspection work of electrical panels, uh, distribution boxes, electrical motors, HVAC stuff, heating, cooling, but they also claim PCB inspection and um, we'll have to see how close we can get using that uh, 8mm uh, lens. Uh, but we'll see that later during testing. The sponsor of this video, PCBWay.com, is celebrating their ninth anniversary and they are currently offering various discount coupons and gifts if you place your order now. For example, you can get up to 50% discount on your 3D printing order or you can also apply for a sponsorship if you're building a non-profit project. Check out their website, link below. This mount seems to have a very good build quality. It's made out of uh, plastic. It feels very er ergonomic. You have multiple uh, tripod mounting uh, points, one at the bottom of the handle and several on the phone and camera clamps, which uh, are made of metal and uh, they just feel very strong and sturdy. Inside the box, uh, you get the camera inside this uh, EVA hard carry case and it's got a warning label um, not to point the camera at the sun. You should never do that with a thermal camera. Next we got some um, some of this lint-free cleaning cloth just to clean the uh, lens of the camera and separate from this box I got this lightning uh, extension cable which makes it possible to mount the camera in the special holder and run the wire up to the actual phone. Now upon uh, connecting the camera to my phone it automatically prompted me to install the required app from the App Store uh, which I found pretty interesting, no other device ever prompted me to install its app upon plugging into the phone but this is certainly a nice feature to have because you don't need to search for the app yourself and it showed two different apps uh, to install, I picked the one that said infrared first uh, unfortunately, after installing it and plugging in the camera, it notified me that the device is not supported. So at this point, I installed the other app named uh, Xterm, uh, which this time it worked. I really think they should unify their software support. There is no need to have, you know, multiple apps. Uh, just have one that supports all of the cameras under the brand. Otherwise, you're just creating uh, confusion for the user. But in the end, 
I got it working. And next, upon seeing the live feed, which started in a black and white image mode, I was immediately mesmerized by the you know, high resolution and high refresh rate, it almost makes you think this is an actual visible light image as you can see here in the sample video looking at my cluttered desk. You can clearly identify the objects on my desk, you can see them in high detail and all of this just from the thermal imager. And at this high refresh rate it makes everything look very fluid. Next I switched to my favorite view which is the iron type color palette and I started exploring the app and everything works smoothly you have the video and image capturing modes as well as color modes at one side of the GUI while at the other side it has a few options for you know placing some temperature measurement markers either as a point as a rectangle or as a line and uh, within the rectangle or the line it also automatically identifies the mean and max points you can also adjust the temperature unit Celsius versus Fahrenheit, you can trigger the calibration shutter manually and you can adjust a few settings that influence the measurement accuracy like emissivity, distance to object, you can apply a correction. You can also turn on a picture in picture with the smartphone camera on top and that might help you find some stuff and align your thermal camera to the point of interest and a nice feature is that if you record within the app it also records the picture in, in picture exactly as you see it on screen. Clicking the temperature range button I guess puts the camera into a high range option uh, which we've seen with the other P2 Pro camera as well and this allows it to sense up to 450 degrees Celsius uh, but um, you know switching from one mode to the other uh, it, it's showing artifacts and noise on screen and it, it tries to eliminate the noise by calibrating uh, several times in a row which it eventually does and the image is once again pretty much noise free but I thought I'd, I'd mention this there's nothing wrong with the camera it just needs to switch to a different operating mode and perform new calibration routine. I like the fact that the app is you know very simple and straightforward uh, it works I'm sure many users will appreciate that but I am a more advanced type of user who'd like to have you know some options like flipping or mirroring the image. Uh, this can be very handy because you can easily install the camera in the mount uh, flipped upside down for better cable management um, and then you're stuck with the flipped image because you don't have the option in software to correct it. And the way you have to position the camera versus uh, your phone on the mount it means you have to run the wire from one side to the other which uh, keeps the wire tensed and puts stress on the connectors. I think this can be easily solved with a softer option to flip the image because as it is if you flip the phone the labels on the buttons flip but the image stays um, unflipped so there is no way to correct for this unless you physically rotate the camera. But let's take some thermal images and see how this camera really behaves in practice and first uh, let's look at an electrical panel in my um, office. I'm shooting this at about one meter away maybe less and I can easily adjust the zoom on this lens according to the distance and I can inspect this uh, panel and identify potential problems, hotspots, stuff like that. And here is another sample looking at my air conditioning splitter installed in my office and looking at this from maybe 1.5 meter away again I was able to adjust the zoom according to the distance and I can define an interest zone and the app takes min and max measurements within the area I defined which is very useful again for identifying uh, problems and uh, doing measurements. By this time you're probably wondering if this camera and lens allows you to adjust the focus for up close inspection of a PCB. And well let's try that. I have this FPGA based PCB powered for a quick test and adjusting that lens uh, to a maximum gives me about you know a 1.5 to 2 centimeter working distance from the PCB with a covered area of about 4 by 3 centimeters but of course you can also move the camera slightly up and adjust the focus again to gain a higher coverage and these are really tiny components we see in here these are you know 0402 size passives and they are clearly visible same as their you know 0.2 millimeter thick or even thinner uh, PCB traces so yeah this T2S plus thermal camera can really be used for PCB or up close inspections as well. Um, it, it can be even as good as the um, uh, custom macro lens of the P2 Pro. It's just that this is a manual adjustment. We can even uh, spot you know if we look inside the FPGA uh, we can spot the die inside the package 
and the actual hotspot and if this package would have you know several dice that run at different temperatures we would also be able to see those uh, when we get so up close of the chip package and I think having this adjustability makes it way more useful than a fixed lens if you need to do uh, if you need to do like a mix of thermal inspection work and because of the unique features of this uh, T2S Plus model, uh, mainly of having this adjustable lens, it makes me like this model more than the P2 Pro, just because it offers more versatility. And if you're getting that extra versatility plus the uh, you know, included mount for just an extra $30, for me it's a no-brainer. Seems like a better choice for the average user. You're still benefiting from the same high resolution and high refresh rate sensor no matter which model you go for and uh, when you compare this to the likes of FLIR thermal cameras you just can't get the same resolution and refresh rate for um, a similarly priced model and I must say Infuray really created a very nice thermal sensor and it is disrupting the market with products like these likely forcing the hand of companies like FLIR to do better uh, in the future and it, it and it's not just the specs on paper it seems like the quality of these products is very good I haven't seen people complain about the quality of them uh, many people are already uh, switching to these and this and this pretty much concludes uh, my review of this camera it's a great little unit and if you're looking to get one you will find links in the description below to use it when purchasing this camera if you found the video useful, please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to support me making more videos like this one, you can do it on my Patreon with as little as $1 per month. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you next time.